Hey guys, hope you're well. So lately I've been seeing on YouTube all the it fashion girls talk about the things that they would repurchase if they had lost their entire wardrobe and I wanted to share mine, I don't know. And we'll just go through each category. Starting with my favorite item, <laughs> jeans. I have two pair of jeans. I would just buy them immediately. It's not necessarily the brand itself. It's more so like the fit, how rigid the jean is. The first one I would repurchase. These are from Motel Rock, Motel Rock denim. And they're so good when you just want to be put together. It, ha it really just suits well my body and it's wide at the end. I can dress them up, dress them down. It just goes with everything. I love this pair so much. And like the, the jean is like... It's quite really stiff, which I like, but it's not too stiff. I feel comfortable, I can eat well. Oh, I love, I love, I love, love. And then the second pair of jeans. These are my favorite jeans when I go to the airport, when I'm traveling, because for some reason, I, I, I don't know, but I don't find myself wearing sweatpants outside of my house. I don't know why, but these jeans, oh my God. These are from Calvin Klein. They're very baggy and at first, when I, I remember when I first bought them, I was like, oh no, the, the, the quality of the jeans, I don't know how I feel. I wear that all the time. I, I don't know, it's just, if you just want to chill and like, but still be really casual and not wear sweatpants. <laughs> now the thing is, I bought them, I remember on the website, it said, oh, you should round up your size because it might be baggy, but I felt like it was a bit too baggy and at this point I had destroyed them. So I think you can be true to size, but it's, yeah, it's all good. Oh, it's so good. Let's go on with shirts. To be honest, I had a bit of a struggle with shirts, but then I realized that there are two shirts that I just, I cannot live without. Literally, if I lost everything in my wardrobe, I would buy these two shirts. The first one is this pink, pop pink shirt. I love it so much. I bought it from a fast fashion store. Honestly, like if I were to repurchase, I wouldn't buy anything from that fast fashion store. I would try to find something like exactly the same, but from a higher, more ethical brand. I'm really trying, guys. Try to really make a cautious, like, and be more like careful of what, where I purchase my stuff. This is very flowy, very oversized, very light. But the thing is, when you wear it, you still, f it's not too casual. It's really just, you feel good. You feel put together. I love it. And people compliment me whenever I wear this shirt because they, like the like how the pink pops i don't know but i love it so much second shirt is just a more traditional blue and white shirt i got this shirt from my dad's wardrobe he said that he didn't want it anymore and i was like well let me take it still oversized but it doesn't like you know <laughs> yeah i feel good with wearing this shirt and you know you can wear this in every situation up down casual professional all that stuff, I really love it. So let's go on with shirts. To be honest, this is a recent purchase because I realized that I used to wear this white top all the time, but it's cropped and I don't need my belly button to be out all the time. Like, you know, when I'm in a professional setting, I don't need, like, it was a bit difficult. So I bought the, this regular t-shirt from Cos and I have it in red and black also. The perfect white t-shirt. Now it's a wrinkle, sorry. It covers everything. You can tie if you want something a bit more cropped, but you still have the option to have something long. I recently realized that white t-shirt get. I, I knew that white t-shirt gets stained really quickly, but when you start like working full time or like just being out all, and about all the time, I realized that I don't. I need to buy at least two white t-shirts in case this gets stained. I still have another t-shirt like that can <laughs> for the rest of the week. So yeah, I I think. Not only would I buy it once, I would buy it twice. The second top that I have is the top when you want to just go out with friends. And this is the top I always run towards too. I bought it at the pop-up shop with Susie Lola and Vivian and Daughter of a Hoarder. And I bought this top that I really, really, really love. There's something about red on me that feels the same energy as a redhead girl wearing emerald green. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. I love this. It's it's fun, and I don't really wear tops like this. Is I think it's called ultra top. But I feel great wearing this. When it comes to trousers, these are the trousers that I would just repurchase immediately. I also bought it from the same pop up shop. They fit amazing. And also, when you're going to work, this is like the perfect work 
trousers but also like if you're out and about in the street and all that stuff this is great it's comfortable i can move i can dance i can i don't know do everything and i feel comfortable so these are great trousers um now i'm becoming british usually i see these are the great pants but oh <laughs> i also want to talk about this skirt that i got from another fast fashion brand that i shall not name i love it you can do you can go crazy with it wear with everything and also what i like to do is also pair these exact skirts with the dress that i would also buy immediately if i had lost everything this beautiful dress that i've had years ago since i was in secondary school the dress is quite short so i like um layering them together and yeah it's really nice also this dress was my graduation dress because i didn't want to buy it and something new for my bachelor's graduation and i really like that and you know the ruching and all that stuff but it's still black so it just goes with everything oh my god oh. i think honestly this would be the first thing that i would repurchase because I, it's been there for so long in my life so i would buy this now would i buy it from the same fashion brand that i did i don't think so if i could find the exact same yes okay as someone who loves to stay indoors I had to think of pyjamas. Ash also talked about always being in PJs and all that stuff. I don't really matter about the top, but the bottoms, yes. The first one is a recent purchase that I bought because I used to wear like sweatpants or sports shorts to go to bed, but I realized that I need to feel good also when I'm going to bed. You know, feel proper, feel... Yeah, so I bought... I invested in new PJs. It, it doesn't have to be the exact same print. And this has a stretch band, so you feel good. These are a bit more funky and they were a Christmas gift from my dad a couple years ago but it has sheeps and there's a cat on top of the sheep. It's a bit thicker. Well, the winter nights, you want to be cozy and I love wearing this one. Okay, let's go on to accessories. The first thing I would buy is a bonnet with satin to protect my hair. This is so important. I actually just thought about it like as I was picking up the accessories. <laughs> it was like right next to it so I was like, oh, this is so essential, I need to buy this. Um, yeah, this is really essential. Yeah, Ugh. perfect. The UK is known for raining days. Honestly, I don't really have like I don't really bring my umbrella everywhere because the wind always just. So I go with this beanie. This is also my winter beanie. When back home in Canada, and there's something about <laughs> the rain touching my scalp, like this specific spot on my head that bothers me. So I just have a beanie, so it just doesn't business me off. This beanie would have been so much better if it had a satin lining inside. So the friction between my hair and the beanie is like less intense and I don't have frizz all the time. The next accessories are sunglasses. Now, this specific pair is iconic if you listen to my entertainment industry discussions because that's how I started with the mic situation. I was like, oh, no, 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 I don't have a mic. I still don't have a mic. So these are cool to be honest I, have, I struggle with sunglasses because i don't know what frame like what type of sunglasses fits me best and also like a lot of <laughs> a, lot of, a lot of sunglasses don't sit here so i have to put them here so these can sit and it pisses me off if i were to restart my whole wardrobe from scratch i think i would actually invest in sunglasses that where i can they can actually i don't know customize the arch so that it can actually sit here because I why why can, why do I have to like walk like this this is not attractive I want it to be like oh well this is I don't know this doesn't I don't, I don't worry about that in the first place actually oopsie my favorite pair was these ones because they're big and like oh, they're broken this is like my excuse to find a new pair but these like they're big and they they were they're like actually quite comfortable so oh, i love these so much wow i think i think this would be the the pair other accessories are the earrings that i'm wearing right now i've been wearing them for a long time but also this necklace i've been wearing since i don't know like since i was 16 and i'm the type of girls that when she wears one necklace she doesn't touch it there are certain circumstances where I have to remove and honestly the, the, the rare times where I have to remove my necklace I don't feel like if there's they ask me to not wear something but I, I'm literally I find myself literally scratching because I'm so used to have something <laughs> like here so I don't know 
this is essential i also want to talk about this bag be really easy i can just wear it go to the city downtown hang out with friends you know it's the perfect bag for everything it's structured ish but also like when i need to pack and i can just fold it like this and stuff it into my luggage so this is a perfect bag right now what's in this bag there's a panty liner there's a puree from Air Canada. Ooh, Air Canada. Ooh. There is gum. I like to bring gum like in here, like this. Little containers because sometimes gum is make so much noise. This is okay. My favorite Nivea lip balm. This is a perfect one. Not the dark blue one. It has to be the light blue. And this is my favorite Glossier uh, balm. And this is the shade Amber. It really goes well with. My skin and all that stuff. What I like to do is it's like a nude and then I also do this as a blush. La 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 la. A special night out as if I go out all the time. Lord, I stay at home all day every day. <laughs> My friends have to drag me out if I want to go out. If they want me to go out with them. Does it look good? <laughs> okay, but that's the bag <laughs> next thing i want to talk about are shoes the iconic converse i'm i am a low top girl because low tops are easy to put on and remove i've been destroying these shoes for the past three years and i love that they're comfortable they go with pretty much everything love 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 i also have these red shoes they're so cute they're from office and you know like they're dressy but i also can wear them with the jeans and the skirt with everything with everything i love them so much you know i stay home all day every day these are the perfect slippers and they have that puffer coat effect so they're really nice i also have these doc martin dupes and the reason why i said like i would buy them immediately is just because as it rains a lot in the uk these are the perfect rain boots <laughs> i don't know if i would buy like the dodging boots themselves because i they're apparently they're really stiff like you have to break them in for a long time but these are comfortable and they're really easy to put on the last section i want to talk about are coats so the first coat i have is this raincoat that i bought years ago at costco and this is the perfect rain coat for me but also a good fall spring coat you know it's light but it keeps you warm ish if you have the right layering and I love it so much but the coat that I wear when it starts getting a bit cold you know you know you will see me in this beautiful trench coat that I bought from Urban Outfitters two years ago amazing it's black it's long it goes all the way down most trench coats I've seen cut a bit too short like I'm I'm gonna say like mid mid calf 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 Tibia, bref, I don't know. So uh, to me, it's too short. I need, I need it to fall, like, literally make out with the floor, like, <laughs> and I love this trencher so much. It goes with everything. You feel so put together. I love it so much. Me and this trencher are like this, like this. But yeah, these are the things I would buy instantly if I were to lose my entire wardrobe. Hope you liked the video, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.